Uh, to John, probably. <laughs> Have you seen the portal port for the N64? There seems to be some kind of quote unquote impossible port magic involved here. Any thoughts on that? Have you tried? Have you tried it with a Never Drive or the Mister? So this was um, yeah. yeah a port of portal and uh, MVG did a video on it. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If so I had time, I mm -hmm. wanted to cover that as well at some point. But uh, yeah, it's it's freaking cool. Like it's, I mean, it's very cool. It's so interesting at what they've accomplished here with this. And it's kind of what you'd expect, you know, they've made the cuts that you would expect for an N64 version of a game, but mm. it still looks and feels and has all the portal elements in it in a way that's kind of surprising. And it's like, I was expecting it to, to feel almost unrecognizable to some degree. Right. And it, it's the thing is, it's not just about the portal technology itself. It's just about the game running and looking anything like the original portal at all on N64. And it does, mm -hmm. but also the portal yeah. mechanics are in there and they work, which also means there's some physics simulation happening. Uh, there's the, you know, the portal the cube. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's crazy. Like I haven't played that much yet, but just looking at, at, at it, it's, it's, it's a, it, it does feel like a really impressive accomplishment. And this is something I'm actually really enjoying right now uh, is these, a lot of programmers like going back to old hardware and trying to develop new things. And actually maybe rather than just looking at portal, there's a, there's also uh, an attempt at essentially, I think XL2 on the Saturn, basically bringing unreal to the Saturn. It's not, you know, not level for level, but, but he did a demo of this where it's like basically unreal one, stuff running on a Sega Saturn and looking surprisingly mm -hmm. good. So this, I love this stuff, just watching what these talented developers can do and trying to replicate way more advanced PC games on hardware that has no business running. them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Is there any specifics about uh, portal in particular that were, that were highlighted as particular challenges? Uh, I haven't actually watched. So, uh, the I watched the MBG video. Oh yeah, I did watch that, but there's actually a video oh, yeah. from I guess the developer who talks right. about how oh, optimizing yeah, behind the scenes it. one. And I didn't actually watch that one yet, so I'm curious to check that out. Um, but you can kind of imagine what the challenges might be because, you know, obviously there's the physics stuff. There's the multiple well, it's just the portal concept itself. Yeah, mm -hmm. Do, have we seen anything like that on? Um, also, I like how he kind of brought over the uh, the Steam like uh, uh, menu system, right? Like mm -hmm. it kind of replicates yeah. the original menu system and everything. Right. So that's there as well. I, I was going to say the, the the portal, from what I understood, what MG MVG talking about it is that it is actual real geometry. It's not a render detection. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's so, not RTT. You can tell because it's like it has real perspective and three D depth mm -hmm. too. So. You're right. They could try. Actually, can N64 even really do render to texture that well at all? I have no idea. I've never seen. I don't know if it's ever been in a game on N64. Probably it's doable on the system. It's probably though. doable because I think even PlayStation has a couple games that do that. So it's probably doable. But I actually feel like that itself would be a difficult technique to do effectively on N64. And that's the thing about these ports is like everything is difficult because this hardware is comes from such a different time. Like just the simplest things you could imagine doing in 3D on a modern system would be an enormous task on something like the N64. <laughs> it just it doesn't work the same way. It's it's interestingly though, I think a game that is almost it's not obviously made for N64, but it lends itself to it better than most because it has this like chamber based design, like small, small areas, rooms, yeah, small rooms and not a lot of stuff going. It's not like Half-Life 2, right? So I can see it happening, but the, the amount of stuff that had to be manually done to get it to work is just yeah, beyond. Because even beyond when you look it's at incredible. when you look at a lot of sh shooters and games on N64, like you look at GoldenEye, right? The, the environments are very simple. They're super boxy. They're very small, but yet it still barely runs. It's very, very yeah, slow. Still, uh, so poor. Portal's <laughs> rooms are obviously pretty small as well, by and large. And the N64 is pretty well suited to that because uh, thanks to its, you know, somewhat at least forward-looking, the way it handles textures and large surfaces you know, with actual like Z-buffer and perspective correction, uh, you could actually use 
very simple structures to do it. Like very few triangles mm -hmm. to make these boxy rooms. Whereas on PlayStation, you'd have to essentially almost tessellate it, subdivide it into like a ton of little triangles. And that's what a lot of games did on PlayStation. So, um, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I would like to look at this more in detail and sort of wrap my head around it as well. But in the t for the time being, yes, MVG does have a nice video on that as well. He also mm -hmm. recently looked at Quake 2 on PlayStation, which I have also looked at in the past. And that is another one that actually occupies a similar space, I think, uh, but actually came out when the system was still on the market. <laughs> so right. that one was also very, very impressive and feels like it mm -hmm. shouldn't have existed. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks good. I mean, I'm just looking at the MVG video now and it looks as though, you know, there is a, a, a decent amount of performance in there, bearing in mind some of the crazy geometry that's going on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The portals and such. Even, such the like. the, even the textures are like good for they N64. Look, yes. They look good. Like yeah, N64 that was the that's really too. struggles with textures. So you have that little tiny cache to work with and it's just, yeah, this actually, these textures look good. They also don't seem to be doing mip mapping which gives right. it a, a slightly sharper look than usual. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. They nice also save on texture in the RPG video as well. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. if, I guess if you don't do mip mapping on that in 64, you save on memory, right? I, I would assume, yes. At the cost of sampling rate being right. higher. So you, I don't know. So you lose but... some performance in one way, but you also gain in another with the memory, and that's probably mm. a big part of it. Which is maybe more important on N64. Who really knows? I don't really know. But <laughs> well, if you want to crazy system, system, I would say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's totally bonkers. <laughs> but I think one thing I liked is if you look at the portal gun, I'm pretty sure it's using that shiny texture uh, stuff that you you could see in games, like you talked about it once, uh, on the bed of the, the truck, of the dump truck in Blast Core, John. Oh. The shiny texture. Isn't the gun, Didn't isn't they the just call that, that generic like environment mapping where they're just like... It is probably an environment map. just like map, wrapping yeah, a texture I think it's around awesome. it. And yeah, to give it that glossy appearance, it does... It looks cool, I agree. It works. Looks good. This makes me yeah. wonder about what could be done if somebody tried to go a little bit further and bring this to like, say, a Dreamcast. <laughs> How much closer could you oh, get? Oh, it would look It would look probably great on Dreamcast, wouldn't it? I would think. think. I mean, you, you'd still have to cut it way down because that, you know, but it could conceivably look much closer to the PC version.